Welcome back to Let's Play Viva Pinata. I wonder if it's actually that I have two pinatas, or if I can actually just feed these corns to these pinatas, and then have that work, have that open up space. That's not a untamed flutterscotch. This is an untamed flutterscotch. Then you are now resident, which is actually working against me right now because I want. Snapdragon Seed. Interesting. Because uh, right now I want to free up space. I might have to sell some photo scotches right, right now instead of doing what I originally planned with s selling them later. Also, I need to name these guys. Selling them all at once. I usually let you sell all the pinatas at once, but... This doesn't always work out that way. Does not always work out that way. Yes, knock down, knock them down, and then eat them, please. And I value money over your happiness, just to let you know that pinatas. I would much rather sell these. Every now and then, you'll get a an overjoy candy too. Just worth a good deal more. But eat more bananas. Uh. Why can't I pick it up and not sell it? Why are you over here? It's not where the bananas are. Banana. Putting a banana in front of a, or putting something that a piano wants to eat in front of it will not immediately make it pay attention to that thing, but it, there's a chance that it'll notice it. Which is frustrating, but that's how this game tends to be. Like they literally just trample a thing that they want to eat. I really do need to figure out who to sell now, though. I'm actually not so sure. I really might have to sell some. Where are the blue door scotches? I really might have to sell some of the, of the flower scotches. What are you doing? You need to eat more bananas, and you're not doing it, and you're at the bananas. I might sell, well no, I don't really want to sell one of these. I don't want to sell either the first two moth drops, because they're my first two moth drops. I also don't want to sell this moth drop though, because they look cool. So it's a difficult situation. Is this thistles doing well? Yes. For now. Um, these are the original ones. I might actually just start selling these guys though. Darn it, these aren't the ones I want to sell. Sell you for instance. They don't want to, but I kind of had to. These guys still can't breathe, though, which is interesting. It's because that one forest scotch became resident, even though the garden was supposedly full already. How many do I have to sell before these guys can actually start breeding? How full is this garden? those. There we go. So I'd like to have you breed now, except this guy is not doing what I want them to do. Stop! Why are you ignoring me entirely? Normally, pina I, even among flying pinatas, flower scotches are weird. At least some colors of them, they fly so slowly. And they'll, normally if you select a pinata when they're flying, they'll actually just drop to the ground so they can listen to you. Flutter scotches, on the other hand, don't do that for some reason. At least if they do it, they do it really, really slowly. Here it goes. That's the last one. That's the last 
color we need to breed at least. Darn it! I sold a, I sold a green and a yellow one, didn't I? Darn it! I need more of those. Ugh. There's the ones that I actually need to feed to things. Why can't I only move at certain angles? Otherwise, they move so slowly. Okay, well that's unfortunate. I'll just have to breed the white ones a couple more times. Which is gonna be cheaper anyways, because I can actually use romance candies for that. I can turn some of these guys into whatever color anyways. On my own. Oh, that means having to actually... acquire the proper things for them to eat. Just to make sure... it's... water lilies for green flower scotches, right? Green is a water cress. Now, water, water lily is the pink one. So we're gonna have to have a little puddle again, which I don't care for, but we have to do a lot of things I don't care for lately in this game to make progress. That's the thing, though. I can't just breed a bunch of green flutterscotches. I need to actually breed flutterscotches and then make them green. So what I can do here, at least, is... How many of these guys need to eat each? Get out of there. Just one. Okay, cool. No, they don't have a problem. Or at least, they don't have a romance problem. They just have problems in general. Okay, you... Eat my worms, please. And the thistle might be kind of a problem. I... Because... If I break one of these thistles, they won't have their visit requirements fulfilled anymore. So they might just leave. We'll have to see what happens with that. Is he approaching that? Ah, yes, I'm that thistle over there? That means he'll leave afterwards, though, if he decides to go after it. I uh, know he might be going after the worm. Which, yeah, he's doing. Oh, level up. We've been getting experience very, very slowly. It's been happening, but. What? Where are you going? Eat him! You were going to eat him! Why are Beyonce doing this lately? Or they're about to do something that they're supposed to do, and then they just stop. Like, if Flutterscotch is about to... Alright, is he hunting now? I can't even tell. He's not walking towards the... world. Like, a Flutterscotch would just walk up towards... something it's about... To... or a flower that I tell it to eat, and it would be about to eat it, and it just would fly away. At least you killed one worm. Ah, you stupid... Dude, come on! Can't even breathe... or can't even... Managed to hunt right. I don't know what you're doing here right now, dude. Are you walking towards that thistle and just giving up, or what? I can't tell what he's doing over here. I still don't know what I'm gonna do for badge sickles because I don't have new gats here. That's gonna be a little tricky. This is not a very effective fudge effective fudge hog. How many fudge scotches do these guys need to eat? Just one each. Okay, so you only need three. Three yellows and three greens. I'm surprised he's still sticking around here. It's time for him to go home actually. I do need more yellows as well, so I guess I'll put some buttercups here. And let them grow now. How are you today? Bright eyed, bushy tail. I really do think the game kind of breaks the whole fertilizer idea by giving you a cheaper fertilizer that works for everything with Eivor. 
Feels a little overpowered. I don't really have a need for you. You're just taking up space, but... Oh well, I guess. Can't really stop them from becoming residents, so unless I just want to keep selling them. Yeah, though Eivor is awesome, but this fertilizer is a little overpowered. Because I don't even start fertilizing things until I know, until I have access to his fertilizer. And then at that point, I never have any need ever to actually pay attention to which fertilizer you, which fertilizer you use for what. Why have we not named these guys yet? Beautiful. I can name these guys too, actually. I have ideas. I'll wait for them both to be out here, though. Is this still growing yet? Yes. Where's the white flutterscotch? They're in here, for some reason. Guys. I feel like the white flutterscotches tend to be the ones that hog the house for some reason. Get out. Get out. Come out. My god. Also, more stuff to just make happen while we wait on other things. Yeah. Oh, Pudge, that's the last thing I get here. It's a little bit more expensive than I thought. But it's still actually really small. Okay, cool. I don't expect to even like this. I'll put it over here. I think. It's maybe even over here. I wish it was actually aligned with the... I don't think I actually like what that looks like if I remember right, but we'll see. Okay, cool. Now I can name them. Guys, more distractions. Giving more expenses. Coins can con Where's the other one? It's not usually only just one. There you are. Giving ruffians chocolate Whoa. coins can con Heard it. Felt a rumble. Oh, that's the cocoon hatching. Hello, Peribo. Actually, eat the stuff you're here to eat. Thing is, if they take too long, their requirements get reset. So they need to eat expediently, and they don't do that, and they just waste time and everything. It's especially bad if they need to eat pinatas to become residents. There is one pinata that I really am not looking forward to having become a resident. And they need to eat a very large number of pinatas to become resident. And if they do it too slowly, then it, spontaneously their requirements will get reset. And all those pinatas that they, had eat, they already ate will be for nothing. Oh, no, not you. Darn it. No, why are the other ones in here? Get out. It flew the bananas and they just flew over, over here. Flew away. Why do you do this to me? Eat. Eat. Dude, land and eat it. Did I just hear like weird noise? Oh, that's those. I just heard a strange noise all of a sudden. I had no idea what that was. Oh, no, it's dead. Darn it. Alright, where's that other white bonus gosh? In here? Guys! Get out! I guess I never will necessarily have to breed more flutterscotches though, because if I just get down to only having one left, the original one, then what happens then is... Get out of the way, this isn't fully... What happens then is another white flutterscotch comes along and joins us. Not you. 
Eat it. What are you doing? Oh, you still have patches of grass that aren't, or patches of dirt that aren't quite as they should be. So to be covering grass. Okay, so we have green ones at least. That we can feed to the Jameleons. I'm not especially confident. Oh, I don't want that one getting eaten. I'm not especially confident about. Yeah, because I knew it was this. It's just a bunch of poop. I mean, it's kind of amusing that it's pasture covered in poop, but still. I don't like how it looks. Did I say that this episode was cut off yet? I don't think I did. I'll see you guys next time in the next episode of Let's Make You Pinata. Where we maybe get everything finished with Forest Scotches once and for all? We'll see. I'll also learn about. Pester covered in poop. Bye guys.